I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Colorado Department of Revenue's Marijuana Enforcement Division released its 2018 annual update for the fifth straight year. The adult use market accounted for 66% of the total pounds of flour sold in 2018, and it accounted for 86% of the total units of edibles sold to consumers. It was a very busy week for earnings announcements from some pretty major cannabis companies. British biotech firm GW Pharmaceuticals reported second quarter net sales of $68.4 million for the cannabis-related drug Epidiolex. Now, for the first half of 2019, they sold $109 million of this drug. The good news sent the stock higher, but the even better news is that 12,000 patients are taking this drug and having good results. Columbia Care reported that its second quarter revenue rose 102% to $19.3 million year over year. That was up 50% sequentially. Grow Generation reported that its revenue was up 172% year over year to $19.5 million. Their same store sales jumped 23% over last year as well. CV Sciences reported revenue of $16.9 million for the second quarter. That was an increase of 36% over last year. They have had 14 consecutive quarters of sequential revenue growth. Kronos Group reported that its net revenue jumped 202% to $10.2 million in the second quarter. They had a gain from the revaluation of derivatives. That caused the company to record a net income of $250 million. In acquisition news, Terrison agreed to acquire 100% of Ilera for between $125 and $225 million. That is going to be paid in a combination of cash and Terrason shares. LeafLink raised $35 million in a Series B round led by Thrive Capital. Henry's Original closed on a Series B investment of $11 million led by New York-based Merida Capital Partners. And medical marijuana is now legally available to Louisiana patients with Baton Rouge's Capital Wellness Solutions recording the state's first ever regulated medical marijuana sales transaction at the dispensary's grand opening this week. And that's it. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from Times Square.